Today I'm going to show this coil here. This coil uh, I talked about in my previous video. It is a coil that was uh, taped with blue tape. It is now with uh, yellow tape. This is my first one, the red one, you have seen that. Uh, this one over here was also blue in my previous videos about it. But it's now uh, yellow. I had some issue with this one. And with this one, but I uh, solved the problem. It is an air core coil. I cannot run it with a ferrite core. When I do that, the wires kind of short out. I don't know why, but so it's like a specific coil only for air coil. Anyway, the input is uh, 29 volts at 1.2 amps. DC the dry side is still the same ratios of the pulleys are all the same the rotor is a 36 pole uh, rotor the RPM is now uh, I'm measuring here over the axle so it's gonna be upside down but you can read it the RPM is now 9358 gonna write it down 9358 now I'm gonna do uh, I'm only doing the DC uh, load testing gonna start over at a 0 0.6 watt load there's a 0 0.6 watt load uh, the uh, voltage is uh, 8.6 or 8.7 at yeah 110 milliamps I can hear the system slowing down it is now 1908 and decreasing the RPM so we're gonna give it some time this coil still uh, makes the system slow down but not as much so I'm kinda almost there with my calls show you real quick in the dark there's a light bulb let's check the RPM again it's now saying 876 75 Yeah, 74, so it's still decreasing. Let's give it some more time. I'm gonna start writing here 8360 something. The output is around 8.5 volts at, yeah, around 110 milliamps. Let's check that RPM. Eighteen hundred and sixty-nine. Yes, it has stabilized at eighteen hundred and sixty-nine. Now I'm going to do a one point two watt load. I uh, switch on the other light bulb now, and the output is three point eight. Three point eight at yeah, let's say 150 milliamps. Let's check that RPM. I am not checking the uh, input voltage and milli and amp draw because that is not of my concern at this moment. The RPM is now 1873, 74. 873 gonna write that down the input is just a little bit higher 29.1 volt and yeah still kind of the same 1.2 amps let me check the RPM again 
five. Yeah. Eighteen hundred and seventy five. Now I'm gonna go for a 5 watt load, gonna unplug it here, put the 5 watt load on it and put this back on. The 5 watt load is barely lit, just a little bit. The output is 2.9 volts, 2.9 volts at yeah, 160 milliamps. 160. The RPM. Eighteen hundred and eighty-five, eighty-four, eighty-five. I'm gonna ride eighteen hundred and eighty-five. So in the DC uh, light bulb uh, loads, the 0.6 watt have given me the most um, load on the system until now. Let me check the RPM again to be sure. 1882. Ah. 1882, not 85. Now I'm gonna short the coil over here. It is shorted DC, shorted milliamp, 190, but uh, we cannot use that at all. But I'm doing it anyway. Um, the RPM is now at 1891.92 So it is slightly increasing 1890 something eighteen hundred and ninety four Okay, 95. Let's say 1895. So shorting this coil does not put maximum load on the system. Until now, it has been the 0.6 watt load. Now I'm gonna go for the capacitor, but I'm gonna unplug it here first. If I don't unplug it here, this capacitor goes above 30 volt DC, which always blow out my meter over here. So I got to remember that. Switching, connected the capacitor, switching that back on. It is pulling now around 160 milliamps and dropping, which is more than normal. There's a voltage in the cap. You will see it when it reach 10 volt over here. Now I'm gonna check the RPM over here. They're saying 1890, 89, 88 and decreasing. So let's give it some time. 1800. We're gonna let it climb till it reaches its uh, maximum uh, voltage in the capacitor at a certain uh, milliamps. Check the RPM in meanwhile. Hope you guys can see there's a little bit of a glare of the lights here. Uh, anyway. RPM is now 1874. 75, 74. So 800 and 70 something, not gonna write it yet. The volt in the cap is 13.7 at yeah 60 milliamps. 
or 13.8 is still increasing a little bit check in the RPM again Eighteen hundred and seventy eight, seventy nine, seventy eight. I'm uh, gonna leave it there. Eighteen hundred and seventy eight. At voltage is fourteen point four. At fifty milliamps. Eighty-four now, but I'm gonna leave it, uh, leave it at eighty-one and seventy-eight. So, looking at these uh, measurements, I can say that shortening the coil is the least load on the system. The maximum load what was with the zero point six watt load, it was uh, that was at uh, eight point five volt at one hundred and ten milliamps, and that makes the system drop till 1869 rpm okay gonna check it one more time to see what it is doing 1887 88 yeah gonna make it 88 over here now I'm gonna put the camera down I'm going to completely uh, take away the coil The coil has been removed now Now I'm uh, going to let the system speed up and measure the RPM again because when the coil was in place and it was open, the RPM was 1958. So now I'm gonna write here the coil, the RPM without the coil in place and see the difference. RPM is now 1955. Climb it a little bit. Just let's give it a little bit more time. This coil of reel is a just a bobbin, just a normal coil you can buy in any online store. I just put in it a ferrite core, and I was testing it also with this uh, rotor here. And I must say that the performance isn't that bad at all. It does slow down the system, but not much either. Let's check the RPM. Nineteen hundred and sixty-six, sixty-five, sixty-six. We make of it nineteen hundred and sixty-six. So it's. 19, 1966 minus 1958 so it is only a difference of 8 rpm when the coil is in place the system runs at 8 rpm less than without the coil so that's a very good difference and if I check the open coil rpm open coil rpm 1985 sorry 1958 minus the most the maximum load which is this one check the rpm 1869 so it's 1958 minus 1869 is a drop from a drop of 89 rpm 89 rpm and the output is here 
8.5 the maximum output was also at this same RPM 8.5 times 0 0.110 is this is over here 0 0.9 watt almost 1 watt so it is for me another good progress because when the system is at its maximum load which is with the 0 0.6 watt it only drops to 89 rpm and before this test with this coil uh, with this coil it makes the system drop 125 rpm so that's a good progress now it's only 89 when I tested it also at 20 volt input around the same rpm the output uh, is a bit lower now but it's still not bad it's almost one watt so um, I'm gonna try to run it at a little bit higher rpm and see what uh, the drop in RPM will be will it be less more or the same and that will give me some clue to where I have to go from here gonna disconnect the system it will keep spinning away just giving you a complete view of it yeah okay I think I said more than enough I think uh, let you also see everything I wanted to let you see um, oh, about this coil this is like I said it's a coil you can buy online or whatever you want to buy um, maybe I will do a video, a video on it I don't remember quite remember the uh, performance of it but it wasn't that bad but I did do it with a ferrite core it is the same core as this one the strange thing is this coil doesn't uh, do any funny stuff when I test it with the ferrite core but my own coils which has a different configuration of windings when I put this ferret in it they go nuts but anyway hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching